welcome to this new video from the ASA Art 3D channel. We will see together how to use the Mix node and the Mix RGB node. You will discover the effects of these nodes on the basis of concrete examples, tests of primary colors and mathematical examples. The Mix RGB node is used for materials and world environment. The Mix node is used in the composition editor. They are very similar and aim to mix colors or images with each other in different ways. Let's see what these nodes are made of. The drop down list allows you to choose the mixing mode. The checkbox allows to limit the output values between 0 and 1. The fact field is used to define the influence factor between color 1 and color 2. Color 1 defines the background layer, color 2 defines the foreground layer. The direction is important, because the result will not necessarily be the same if you invert the images you are going to link to these colors. In addition, the size and resolution of the rendering will depend on layer 1. Mix mode is the basic mixing mode in Blender. It mixes the two images together according to their influence factor. I start by assigning a material to a plane comprising a blend node of two images. I then create a second plane with a texture containing the background image. Then I create another plane with the foreground and add 50% transparency. I then remove the top of two planes to be able to see the foreground and I run the rendering. The result is identical. The darken mode only keeps the minimum values of RGB colors between two layers. Let's see an example. If the red of color A equals 0.1 and that of color B equals 0.8 then the minimum is equal to 0.1. The multiply mode multiplies the values of the colors of the layers between them. This mode is especially useful for colorizing a black and white image. Here is an example of colorizing an image in red. It can also be used to make an image appear in a white background and hide it for the alpha parts. The color burn mode intensifies the selected color and is very useful for enhancing photos. Let's see an example with the formula and then a concrete example. The result cannot be greater than 0.5, so there is no brightening when an RGB color equals 0. The color is simply not taken into account in the calculation, division by 0. There is no effect on color A if color B is a primary color. Here, I let you appreciate an example of an effect performed by combining the color burn mode with a gradient node. Lighten mode only keeps the maximum values of RGB colors between two layers. In this example, the second layer has a value of 0.8 for the red color and the first layer has a value of 0.1. The result is 0.8. The screen mode whitens the colors according to the factor indicated and the chosen secondary color. In this example the secondary RGB color is red. The red ratio of the primary color will go to 1. The blue color turns purple and the green color turns yellow. In this second example, the secondary RGB color is white. The ratio between red, blue and green will change to 1. Everything turns white. Let's take a look at a concrete example. Now I'll show you the first example from the previous slide by replicating the screen node effect.
you will notice that red and white are not affected because their red value is already at 1. Now let's see what happens when the bottom layer is based on grayscale. The color dodge mode brightens the bottom layer according to the value of the top layer. A bright color of the top layer affects the color of the bottom layer more than a dark color. The colors disappear with the white bottom layer. The formula is the following, color B is divided by color A. The result is then reversed. Please, note that if the result of the calculation is greater than 1 and therefore impossible in RGB value, then the value of color A is taken. The add mode adds the values of the two colors according to the distribution of the factor. Here is an example of two colors added and the result. The overlay mode makes it possible to lighten light colors and darken dark colors. Colors of 0.5 are not affected. The video example shows you the effects on color gradients with white, gray, and black as secondary values. Soft light mode is very similar to gamma correction. I let you appreciate these examples which seem quite telling. Linear light mode allows you to lighten or darken an image in a linear mode. The mathematical formula is as follows. Color B is divided by color A. The result is then reversed. Let's take a look at a concrete example. The difference mode is very useful for comparing the differences between two images. It allows to bring out the watermarks or to play the game of seven differences. Let's take a look at a concrete example. Here we have two almost identical images. By combining these two images with the difference mode, the differences appear clearly. The subtract mode is used to darken the top layer by subtracting the bottom layer. The mathematical formula is, color B is subtracted from color A. Let's take a look at a concrete example. The divide mode allows you to change a very dark color to a very bright opposite color. The divide mode can be used to find the true colors of a negative. The hue mode allows you to bring out the color you have selected. By adding an RGB to BW node you can play with the grayscale. The saturation mode maintains the luminance and hue of the lower layer, while adopting the chroma of the upper layer. The saturation effect of the mix node can be reproduced using the HS via separate and combined nodes. The color mode keeps the luma of the color of the first layer while it takes the saturation and hue of the second layer. Like the hue effect or the saturation effect, the color effect of the mixer node can be reproduced using the separate and combined HS via nodes. The value mode preserves the hue and chroma of the first layer, while adopting the luminance of the second layer. As with the previous modes, 
the value effect of the mixing note can be reproduced using the separate and combined HSV nodes. Thanks you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Other types of videos are available on my channel.